let's get started. The brother of former NPP chairman Paul Afuku, uh, Gregory Afuku, has pleaded not guilty to the charges of conspiracy to commit murder and murder. Uh, Asabke Alangdi, a butcher, has also been handed the same charges over the deaths of Adams Mahama, who was the NPP chairman for the Upper East Region. Uh, and this happened in 2015. The, the court, presided over by Justice Merle Wood, has also sworn in a seven-member jury to hear the case. Chief State Attorney Marina Apia Opare, who read the facts of the case, said that the state will demonstrate in the course of the trial that the two acting, uh, forgive me, the two acted with the aim of killing Adams Mahama. Now, Joseph Akable just returned from the court. He joins me here in the studio with some details. Um, Joseph, good to see you. Uh, good to see you, Kojo. Right, so high drama in the high court, right? Yes, uh, especially relating to the paneling of the jury. I mm. mean, uh, back and forth arguments, and it's an interesting process. I mean, it's one that, unfortunately, our cameras don't go in there, so people right. can't see how it happens. Mm. Uh, but what happens is that uh, they mention the name of the jurors, one after the other, and when a person comes up, the accused persons have the opportunity three times to either say, I want this person or I don't want this person. Ah. Now the problem and the concern that the lawyers for Gregory Afoko had was to the effect that they don't have enough time to investigate the individuals. Mm. And so what would be the basis for me to say I don't want this person? It would mean that I would just have to be looking at the person's appearance. Mm. And so the first person was called, uh, the, the, the initially Gregory Afoko didn't object but when his lawyer reminded the court that he as counsel can also object, uh, Gregory Foucault then proceeded to object to that person. And right. so he used these objections twice, and his lawyers had asked for time to investigate the entire pool that had been submitted. Mm. Uh, but the state prosecutors opposed that, and they ended up getting the court to agree with them that the law doesn't allow for the background checks to be done, but it allows for the objections. And so uh, that appears to be a bit of a challenge in terms of the yes. uh, criminal procedure. Right. Well, so now they have empaneled uh, the a jury. jury. So they took their plea first before even the empaneling of the jury happened. They both pleaded not guilty. Then the state prosecutors were allowed uh, to ha give their opening address. And in that opening address, they read the facts of the case as to why they brought the two individuals to the court. And that was when they informed the court that uh, sometime in 2015, uh, Gregory Afoko's brother, Paul Afoko, who was the MPP national chairman, and Kwabne Japon, who was then general secretary, yeah. organized the meeting in the Upper East region. Uh, the prosecutors say that the purpose of the meeting was to discuss how to work against the party's flag bearer, none other than Kwaku Fado, who is the current president. Right. Now, they say that during that meeting, Adams Mahama, who was unhappy about the engagement, heard about it and organized some young men. They went over and scuttled the meeting, which we are told was being attended by uh, Gregory Afoko and this other gentleman, who we are told are both members of the MPP's youth wing in the region. Right. And so the prosecutors say that because of what had happened, Gregory Afoko was unhappy, and days after they attacked uh, Adam's mama with acid, he was rushed to the hospital, and just before he died, he told three people that these are the two individuals who poured the acid from on me. So the state prosecutor is saying that in the course of the trial, there will be leading evidence to show that Adam's mama indeed died, mm. and indeed his death was caused by these two individuals. Right. Uh, how many witnesses uh, are they planning uh, to They call? say 19. And uh, what's interesting to note is that you recall the trial had started and was truncated just in yes. February. Uh, for that particular case, they had called 14 witnesses. Mm. But I told that the number has now increased to, to 19. 19. In terms of the exhibits that will be used, uh, we are told that it includes a number of things. Uh, one has to do with um, a gallon that contains acid that the prosecutors say was the acid that was poured on him. Right. There's also a track suit we are told belongs to Gregory Afoko mm. uh, that was found at his home when the police prosecutors went over. Mm. And we are told it has uh, droplets of that acid and the standards authority have tested it saying that it's the same acid right. that is in a gallon, the same acid that was again poured on uh, Adam's mama. So that mm. those are some of the exhibits that we'll be bringing. The autopsy reports obviously have to be submitted to show that indeed the gentleman has died. Interesting, interesting. Well, we, uh, we will watch as that unfolds.